So you've got K3S and Rancher set up, or some version of Kubernetes and Rancher. One of the first things I like to do is download cube apps from VMware. Um, and so we're gonna go through that. I've copied these instructions just so I'm not blasted with white because I didn't find a dark mode on there and I don't have an extension yet uh, to make things dark. So I've copied it to our wiki. Um, it's the third step right there. And uh, I'm just gonna try and follow the instructions exactly as they say. I do have my uh, cube config pointed to my rancher.internal cluster, which is right here. And uh, you can see my nodes. And this is what we just set up in the previous video. I'll be creating a playlist to make it easier and link, actually link the playlist in the description um, rather than have you search for it. So we should do that. Yeah, see it already exists because I've done it in the cloud. Um, uh, but I'm just not that familiar with Helm yet to, I mean, I'm begun to understand that it's, it has a local, so I'm creating the namespace cube apps. We can probably watch it over here. It's not there yet for some reason. Um, there, there we just saw it populate. Okay, and now it tells us all this good information. We'll clear this, because I'm trying to do a better job of only, when I do my zoom in, I only want to capture a certain area of the screen. So now we're setting up, looks like another namespace. A few other I, I'm not going to pretend like I know exactly what that means. Service account and cube apps operator. Okay. Now we're going to, it looks like this command sets up a, a role, which if you are familiar with that Azure, you know about uh, role based access that uh, no AWS has something similar. So those are real quick commands. Now this I've had problems with before because the EOF stands for end of file and it doesn't, see, it does that. So, th shoot. Uh, so what, you, what you've got to do, you've got to type that last EOF. And then it works. So you do that and then I do EOF. There, okay. I hit, I hit it twice. I don't, I hit return twice, but anyways. So now we've got the a token created. Good. So hopefully right there you just learned something. I'm hoping that some of this stuff is useful. Not just, I mean, I build them trying, kind of trying to be a companion so we can like, So there's my token that I will want to hide. And then, so a few things. So I can do that and then I can visit localhost on port 80. And I know I didn't finish what I was saying. That's fine. So now we'll take advantage of the localhost problem that we had earlier and solved where the browser so right there we paste our token that we just got. Um, but for fun, I want to show you something else. Um, let's go to... I'll just do some, I'll fast forward through some of this. You know what? I think I have it in the, in the docs. Let's see if I do. So I go C colon 
There, that's what I, that's all I was looking for. Look, my own docs are helping me. <laughs> so, start to learn the method to my madness. So what I wanted to do, and I never finished explaining, is create a, I don't want to always have to run this port forward command. I will, I, since I'm on my local host, I just want to be able to just visit a URL. So I think in order to do that, so we'll be setting up an ingress and what I do, I want to try to keep this consistent where I just, okay. So I believe I would just do my Q. See, I, I don't really, I'm already second guessing my my DNS name. It's sure cube apps. Sure. Let's let's see what we think of that. So here again, in case it wasn't clear last time. So you you try and save it, and this is what I like about using Visual Studio Code. And it, uh, you know, you try and do it in Notepad, and, and it, I don't know if you'd have to run Notepad as an admin. I think you can do that, but. It's just quicker this way. So it's like, if this is the only reason for you, I've heard other people that are anti-Microsoft still are okay with Visual Studio Code. And I think it's all open source anyways, but uh, don't quote me on that. So there we go. And now I believe I can just create my host name. So we'll call it cube apps. I, I could put this in the, sure, we'll put it in the cube apps namespace. I don't know if that's the best practice. I, I never mess with descriptions. I, sorry. <laughs> um, prefix, okay. And then you do implementance, implementation specific. And this is because we're just running this, the stock um, I think we just point it to that and then you do have to say that or you get that little red sign and then uh, just for funsies we'll go ahead and just use our and then you have to put the domain there like that and that would be it um, just double check in my work here and then I hit create and it should already be working so in fact I can just click this and in theory that would work. I'm not sure if I have to like reboot my computer to get this to work or what. So I'll go troubleshoot that and figure out what's going on. Um, or I guess for the sake of this continuing, what we'll do is we'll just, we'll come back here. See, I don't, I don't have my token. All right. So close your eyes. So we'll rerun that. Oops. Shoot. Refresh it just so, cause it, in case it timed out. So we'll log in. So here's cube apps. I think you always need that token. I, I don't know. Now you can actually visit your namespaces here. So, uh, so that like you can right there, and then you would hit change context, and then there you can see it, it's it's installed. It's running on eight pods. 
Um, you can the great thing about it is you can get your passwords and stuff. Um, and that's the Postgres password. So um, anyway, I think I want to end it there. Uh, I'll research. Um, all right, I'll come back in a little bit and do like a closing remarks, but that's it for for one of the first things I like to do after uh, setting up K3S and Rancher. Okay, good news. Uh, let's run this command. IP config flush DNS. Uh, I came here and then I clicked that like it, what I was trying to show you. And then it gave me a, it gave me that standard warning that it's not secure. And then, um, and obviously we're in, I, I don't want to grab my token again, but okay. Now I can end that video. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Stop.